Hello everyone. In this practical class, we'll try to learn how to examine sensory system. The following general somatic sensations are tested routinely while doing sensory examination. Touch. It could be fine or crude touch for which you use cotton wool and head of the pin. Cotton wool is used for testing fine and head of the pin is utilized for testing the crude touch sensation. Then for superficial pain, you're supposed to use the tip of the pin. The temperature can be tested using warm and cold water in two test tubes. Whereas pressure uh, is tested by any blunt object or it can also be tested by pressure aesthesia meter. And deep pain is usually tested by squeezing the muscle or tendon. The joint sense and position sense are tested by manually changing the position of the limb whereas vibration will be tested using the tuning fork with a low frequency from 128 Hz. Tactile localization can be used with uh, head of the pin and two point discrimination uh, testing the compass astrocheometer is used and stereognosis you can use the known objects such as coin, keys, etc. While doing sensory examination, you have to take these precautions. First, you have to explain the nature of the stimulus when subject is supposed to respond. Then subject must be asked to close his eyes when sensations are being tested. And compare the intensity of perception on corresponding areas of the body. Touch sensation. A wisp of cotton wool is applied all over the corresponding regions of the body lightly and ask the subject to say one or raise the hand as soon as he the touch is felt. And all, all the sensory modalities has to be uh, uh, tested in uh, dermatomes. The dermatom is nothing but it's a part of the skin area which is uh, supplied by the single spinal nerve. You can see the, the, the distribution of the spinal nerves and the skin area supplied by them. This is C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, T1. They are going to supply the, uh, the upper limbs whereas T2, T2, T12, they are going to supply chest and abdomen whereas uh, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, the anterior part of the uh, the lower limb whereas L5 uh, whereas S1, S2 uh, S3, S4, S5 they are going to supply the posterior part of the limb and the perineal region. The pin uh, to test the tip of the head of the pin is applied randomly over the corresponding regions of the body and ask the subject to say yes or raise the hand as soon as the pain is felt. The loss of pain sensation is called as analgesia. Again, the pain sensation has to be test, tested in corresponding dermatomal areas. Temperature will be tested. The two test tubes filled with warm water, that is the temperature uh, range between 40 to 45 degree and cold water where the, the range of temperature should be between 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. The corresponding regions of the body are touched with either of the test tube and ask the subject to identify whether it is warm or cold. The loss of temperature sense is called as thermostasia. Okay. So this is the track which carries uh, the, the pain and temperature sensation so which is carried by uh, the anterior lateral spinal tracts that is uh, the lateral spinal spinal thalamic tract. Okay. So the first order neuron they are they forms the afferent fibers uh, till the uh, this the lamina spinal lamina and from there the second order neuron arises they are going to cross at the spinal cord then they are going to ascend uh, in the opposite uh, spinal cord and reaches the thalamus from the thalamus, they are going to form the third order neurons to reach the parietal area. The 
pressure sensation is tested by the blunt end of the pencil and it, it is applied with a firm pressure over the corresponding regions of the body and asks the subject to say one or raise the hand as soon as the pressure is felt. The deep pain is usually tested by squeezing the tendo achilles, uh, tendo achilles or muscle belly and note for the expression of the pain by the subject. Joint sense, uh, which is a sense of the passive movement, will be tested by holding the terminal phalanx of the big toe or the thumb uh, by the sides and move it up and down, whether you do extension or flexion and ask the subject uh, the direction in which the great toe or thumb is held or moved. So then to test the position sense, keep one arm or leg of the subject in a particular position and ask, the, and ask to keep the other limb in a similar position. The joint sense and position sense uh, is lost in disorders of the posterior column lesions. This is how the person is here testing the sense, the joint sensation, uh, joint sense, where the person is asking him uh, whether the uh, there is a flexion of the toe or extension of the toe. Vibration sense uh, explain the difference between the touch and vibration to the subject, then strike the prong of the tuning fork of 128 hertz over the heart surface usually over the elbow and place the base of vibrating tuning fork on bony prominence that is it, it could be medial malleolus or stylar process of ulna and confirm whether the subject feels the vibrations vibration sense is lost earlier in case of diabetes mellitus so this is how uh, the vibration sense is being tested here on the great toe. Tactile localization. Touch the subject with the blunt pencil tip. Eyes of the subject should be closed and ask the subject to locate exactly the point of touch with the eyes open. Localization is precise at the periphery of the limbs because of the higher density of the receptors there. Two point discrimination. This test is the ability to distinguish two separate points applied simultaneously as a two distinct stimuli. Usually the compass astrophotometer is used uh, first for this purpose and it is used first at the fingertips. Then decrease the distance between the tips till the two points are felt separately by the subject. So then subject feels only one single stimulus. Note the minimum distance between the tips as shown in the scale and repeat the same over the forearm, face, back and soles. Minimum distance on minimum distance on fingertips, more on back and maximum on sole will be observed. The loss of two point discrimination occurs in parietal lobe lesions. This is the diagram showing how the two point discrimination is going to differ in the tip of the tongue and it is going to uh, further increase with uh, increase on the tip of the index finger. So for the back uh, it, it will be it will range from 3.6 to 7.5 centimeters and uh, the two point discrimination depends on the number of receptors that we have and as the number of receptors are less here okay so the sense of discrimination is going to be reduced stereognosis it is the ability to identify the commonly used objects by palpation that is feeling its size shape texture temperature and form with eyes closed ask the subject to close eyes and place familiar objects like coin, key, key or pen, pins, etc. in the hand and ask the subject to identify the object. So a stereognosis is nothing but the loss of sensation occurs in the lesions of parietal lobe. Okay. 
so this diagram shows uh, the posterior column tracts which is going to carry the sensations like fine touch vibration proprioception tactile localization tactile discrimination and stereognosis these fibers the first order neurons they are going to uh, run into the spinal cord and they are going to ascend in the same spinal cord up till the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus and uh, so these second order of neuron fibers in the medulla they are going to cross over to the opposite spinal cord and then they are going to relay in the opposite thalamus and the third order neurons they are going to uh, be relayed in the sensory cortex that is parietal uh, area area number 312 romberg sign so it is a test for loss of position sense to detect sensory ataxia the subject is here asked to stand with uh, feet close together with eyes closed note whether the subject sways or falls the romberg sign is positive in sensory ataxia that is the lesion in the dorsal column of the spinal cord uh, or that of the dorsal root example as a Uh, can happen in case of tapes dorsalis in cerebellar ataxia even with eyes open the person e- becomes unsteady okay so that is how you are going to differentiate between the sensory ataxia and the motor ataxia so in the end the observation and the report has to be written like this so all the sensation which are tested uh, should be mentioned uh, as of upper limb and lower limb all the s- sensory modalities are touch pain temperature warm cold pressure deep pain joint sense and position sense vibration tactile localization two point discrimination then two point discrimination in the different uh, skin surfaces and stereognosis has to be mentioned so all the sensation whether they are felt or not felt should be mentioned so this is in brief about how the sensory system is examined thank you